Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the war zone. This is the one and only voice of the RW commentary. I am the one and only Claude Decimo and tonight is a night of championship implications. It's going to be huge. It's going to be epic. And speaking of champions, we all now witness to one of the greatest champions in VRW history. And he's on this Still able to come out here with the confidence of an all powerful conqueror. Mason Rex has had a terrible month as of late from losing Troy and Sawyer from the original American Terror and now to taking two consecutive losses to the King of the War Zone, Jason Thomas. Mason Rex is expecting to learn the identity of his number one contender later on tonight. But the man has a lot in his mind. Now this is certainly a surprise. I was more or less expecting the godmother of all war means and the rest of the Broken Kingdom, but instead AJ Graves is coming out here all on his own. Is this the way Marissa Barrett or the Broken Kingdom? I guess we're about to find out what the hell is going on and why is Graves even here? Talk about taking matters into your own hands. We have ourselves an impromptu matchup for the first time in over two years. David Blaze, one-on-one -on -one in the war zone, going up against AJ Gray's a redemption story, to say the least, for AJ Gray's, who lost his eligibility to be a part of the number one contender's ladder match due to him getting pinned to Benaya a couple weeks ago. And it's just been a few setbacks 
Stacking up for the Broken Kingdom, AJ Graves! Trying to fix up his mistakes. And trying to get back into the good graces of both of the Barretts. Grace taken to the skies with a big elbow. And there's a bit of a history that David plays here in this matchup against AJ, who a long time ago, Blaze, Graves, and the Barretts were all on the same page at one point. But a lot of time at passes, all these guys have been in the same wrestling company together. And now, everyone is on different sides of this ongoing civil war within the war zone. David Blaze continuing to stay by the side of Mason Rex despite all that has happened with American Terror. Here's a cover and a kick out for Graves. AJ Graves being overpowered. Look at the strength that David here been able to counter from behind. Chopping the legs from the back is AJ Graves. And AJ Graves recently has been evolving his in-ring work. As far as a singles competitor, we've seen Graves and Barrett team for years. One of the original day oneers of VRW. And AJ Graves has been trying to prove not just to the VRW Riots, but was put up with a huge endorsement from his tag team partner, Ace Barrett that he would definitely be next in line for a shot to be the next VRW Warzone champion, but an unfortunate series of events has led us to now Ace Barrett being the one representing the Broken Kingdom in this number one contender's ladder match. Oh, with four others, including the King of Warzone, Jason Thomas, who again, with back-to-back -back pinfalls or victories over the Warzone champion, covering a kick out. There's a former United Revolution champion, Cam Hardy, who teamed up with Karan Cook last week to defeat Tom Doyle and Cam Hardy, in fact, pinned the current VRW Digital Media champion, Ryan Warzone. And then there is the dark horse of the match, Raymond Page, who stole the eligibility to be a part of this land match. First it was Marty Morton who was able to get the disqualification victory cover again. And a kick out. Got the disqualification victory because of Raymond Page's interference with a match involving Morton and Austin Storm who later on tonight will have a rematch where Raymond Page is barred from ringside. But then a week later Raymond Page will end up pinning Marty Morton stealing his eligibility to be a part of the ladder match here tonight. And the ensemble complete. King Jason Thomas, Cam Hardy, Karan Cook, Ace Baird, and Raymond Page all battling to be the next number one contender for Mason Rex's VRW Warzone Championship. And oof. Kick to the midsection by Blaze. A strong defender. Of the methods of Mason Rex with a pop up powder bomb cover again. And a shoulder came up right at one. You gotta give a little bit of an assist from Daisy Blaze's actions from last week attacking the King of the War Zone, Jason Thomas, before the cage fight he had with Mason Rex. And despite the effort and help, Mason Rex still. Came up short. Oof. And just to see that the greatest of all time, Mason Rex, one of the most decorated resumes within the entirety of the VRW roster. So, as a strong supporter, despite losing his two closest friends Oof, that he had in his company, D Darren Troy and Sawyer, who haven't seen for weeks since the betrayal and a big splash from the top rope. AJ Gray still continuing to impress and show out with his athleticism and quick thinking. But David Blaze, look out! What a spinning suplex. Still amazes me that he's able to hoist up the husk of AJ Graves and a stop 
to the outside. Count is at seven. Graves is reeling from the impact of that stomp. Here's a cover. Hook to the leg to put away AJ Graves, who's able to get the shoulder up at two. The bear, oh, now Graves locked in with a vice lock. David Blaze trying to force AJ to tap out, but Graves with the wherewithal is what helps being a veteran for AJ Graves to figure out exactly how to escape some making holds on the fly. And Graves trying to prove himself that he is more than worthy of being a future singles champion. AJ Graves has him up! Nail in the coffin! Into the cover! Hook to the leg, shoulders are down, Blaze! Able to get the shoulder up just in time. And this match is gonna continue. David Blaze, look at the strength of that Saido suplex! Able to survive Nail in the coffin, David Blaze. Over the top rope! Barrel to pay! Now you just gotta wonder what is going through the mind of both of the Barretts right now, seeing that AJ Gray's took this matter into his own hands. In order to get back at the good graces of the Broken Kingdom, has to continue having the pressure put on him by David Blaze. Count is at five. AJ Gray now going in pursuit of Blaze to the outside. Ran into a, a small trap laid out by the sole supporter of Mason Rex. Suplex into the backstabber. And it seems like Blaze has had all of this well scouted from the get go. Now from the top rope. And a mushroom stop crashing down on the husk of AJ Graves. Blaze is doing the most to get Mason and Rex back into the spirit of things, knowing that just in a few weeks' time, he will be defending the VRW Warzone Championship at the Carnival of Violence next month, the first day of June, ladies and gentlemen. The next VRW pay-per-view, Carnival of Violence, coming to you soon. And David plays, oh! Stiff ends a gurry straight to the jaw of AJ Gray's Blaze now gonna snap back the right arm and shoulder of AJ Graves. Now trying to possibly set things up for the end. That's a nasty dive to Graves. Not sure if Blaze is able to hit all of that. Now trying to drag him away from the ropes. The ring awareness of Blaze is very proficient right now just to lock in the vice lock again. Trying to force AJ Graves to tap out now, wrenching away. All the pressure coming down on him, and please. And end up releasing the hold. In fact, has something else on the mind. Trying to go for the stop one more time. Into an ace crusher. AJ Graves able to counter the stop. Now with momentum on his side. Steering down. David Blaze full hand steam. Driving the knee into the face of David Blaze. Oh! Stiff roundhouse kick that clocked AJ Graves into the cover. David Blaze able to put away AJ Graves. I'm sure the good intentions were there if you're AJ Graves, but this does not spell good news. If you're Ace Barrett or Marissa Barrett, if you're now coming into the arena just to see Graves take on this match and fail against David Blaze in this impromptu matchup, Blaze is quite impressive after not seeing this man since his return and that dungeon match that was accepted by Mason Rex way back when. There's his beautiful counter from the stomp. AJ Graves is able to hit 
but took too much time capitalizing off of the counter. Here you see the knee clock David Blades right into the temple. Oh, the damage running into that turnbuckle at full head of steam. Able to allow Blades to clock AJ with that roundhouse kick, almost damn near knocking the man out. But set himself up for imminent failure. And now I think Mason Rex is back in a high spirits now going after AJ Graves. And now just picking apart the rest of the pieces of AJ Graves. This is pack mentality back in the finest. Something that Mason Rex made very famous in his time with his boys and former members of American Terror, David Blaze, setting up AJ for the greatest of all time. Mason Rex from the top rope with a muscle. Putting AJ Graves to an announcer's desk. I believe it's safe to say that the confidence has returned for the VRW Warzone champion, able to relieve himself of a lot of the stress that he has had to shoulder over the course of this past month. With everything that he has been dealing with, he finally gets himself in his mind a well-deserved win, able to put down someone that opposes his championship reign. Well, speaking of championship reigns, ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a stacked card tonight. We will figure out who exactly is next in line to challenge for the VRW Warzone Championship. The former United Revolution Champion, Cam Hardy, a former world champion and Soul Survivor Champion, Karan Cook, the current King of the Warzone, and former Soul Survivor Champion, Jason Thomas, former world champion Ace Barrett and Raymond Page who stole his eligibility. One of these five will be the next to challenge Mason Rex at the Carnival of Violence. Speaking of which, Ivy Lopez has set a new standard for the War Man's division. Instead of the Carnival Frenzy match, she has introduced a Carnival Melee. So many War Man's looking in anticipation to be a part of that epic match Four of our newer faces are looking to get themselves into the groove of the nature of the Carnival Melee. And on the other side with the, more, with the Warmongers, Austin Storm has now had to beef with Marty Moore and all because of the instigation of Raymond Page. Tonight we get ourselves a rematch from their match a couple weeks ago only with the stipulation that Raymond Page is not allowed to be at ringside. He is barred. We are going to see a definite victor between Marty Morton and Austin Storm. And speaking of what will be definite, BD Cash wants to address all the issues that have been crowding the rise of the future main eventer, BD Cash, your current VRW television champion. She addresses the issue that Marissa Barrett, Dallas Cole, and Suki, all in regards to her reign as the VRW War Man Television Championship and on the top of championships. Tom Doyle invited Ryan Warzone to assist him in trying to take the eligibility from Cam Hardy and Karan Cook. Ryan Warzone was the one who was pinned by Cam Hardy last week, costing Tom Doyle another shot at going after the BRW Warzone Championship. Tonight, he has been granted a digital media championship match that will be on the line tonight.
following contest is a for one fall. And it is for the VIW Digital Media Championship. And she doesn't come For years, Doyle has preached to the VRW Ryans that he will be a future champion in VRW. So many times, the man has been qualifying for number one contendership. So many times he has been in the talk of conversations when it comes to being a champion in VRW. And time and time again, he has been eluded the opportunity. Now, here tonight, there is no interferences. No one to get in the way between him and finally becoming a singles champion. He has locked down a one-on-one -on -one championship match all because Ryan Warzone was pinned last week and his scheme to go after a spot in the number one contenders land match. Will Tom Doyle be able to capture his first singles piece of gold here tonight? We're about to find out. Not often that we compare Tom Doyle to his sister, Tori Doyle, who's a part of the Undisputed Elite, and they currently hold the VRW War Maiden Tag Team Championships. Will the brother-sister of the UE be able to hold championship total gold together? We're about to see. And his opponent, he is the VRW Digital he was the first to take away the Digital Media Championship from its first holder, Kennedy Reed. And he was the first to unify the Digital Media and United Revolution Championships. Ryan Warzone and his own world is on top of it. But this will be yet another championship defense that will set Ryan Warzone up for a spot in the highlight reel. Many will challenge Ryan Warzone for that very championship. Outside of that tag team championship in the world, Ryan Warzone currently stands as the vanguard of champions. And Tom Doyle has been title hungry for years now. And there is no one else a part of this match. He gets a championship opportunity one on one. Here we go. Very similar styles for Ryan Warzone and Tom Doyle. The hardcore cutthroat style that these two very much share. When it comes to their in ring style, Tom Doyle, a bit more flashier than he used to be a couple years ago but regardless the vicious nature of Tom Doyle is still evident Ryan Warzone still fairly new to the Warzone but has established himself as quite the championship competitor did he take from the top rope considering all the times that Ryan Warzone came up short when it came to the United Revolution Championship that was once held by Cam Hardy and the championships were unified Ryan Warzone in his own way was trying to be kind to the legacy that Cam Hardy that set the standard of the United Revolution Championship decided to continue holding the Digital Media Championship out of respect that was not returned by Cam Hardy in his mind. Ryan Warzone felt that Cam Hardy was overlooking the Digital Media Championship held by Ryan Warzone. Instead, Cam Hardy Wanted to aim to be better than the VRW Warzone champion, Mason Rex, and continues to aim for that very goal, considering that he is in the number one contender's ladder match in order to challenge for the VRW Warzone championship. And still to this day, the issue between Ryan Warzone and Cam Hardy continues to flare up. Now the issues have to be put on the sidelines. Now that Ryan Warzone is defending the VRW Warzone, I'm sorry, VRW Digital Media Championship against a hungry, starving Tom Doyle. Referee's count is at eight right now. Neither of these two want to be counted out. Now they're both back inside of the ring. Now a shot back and forth from Ryan Warzone and Tom Doyle just exchanging blows of one another. And Tom Doyle 
seemingly with the advantage over Ryan Woods or over that chop back and forth. Oh! And just like that from out of nowhere. Oh! Back and forth moments. Tom Doyle, however, with a flurry of offense against the champion. Now off that spray board! Into a Phoenix splash here into the cover. This will mean a title on the line and a kick out from Ryan Ward's zone. Tom Dahl, cutthroat, vicious style. Hardcore strong style, I believe, is what he had addressed at one point in his career as a warmonger. And now diving through the rolls, Ryan Ward's zone, having it well scouted, keeping close to the apron. Avoiding disaster for the challenger. But however, Tom Doyle! Vintage Doyle style rolls through into a stutter and now is back on top of the momentum in this match. Tom Doyle has been waiting a long time to be a singles champion in VRW. Now he has isolated Ryan Warzone. This might be the best chance! A Tom Doyle for him to capture VRW Championship Gold. Now being sitting back inside the ring, Tom Doyle in pursuit of the digital media champion, Ryan Warzone, once again with another ripcord lariat. And again, there are just certain changes that have overcome Tom Doyle since we've returned to the Warzone. Runs in with the knee, hits a cover, hook to the leg, shoulders are down, war zone! Able to get that right shoulder up, and the change that I'm referring to is that Tom Doyle has been reacting a lot to the crowd as of late. As if Tom Doyle has been caring a bit more than what the VRW riots think inside and out the ring. The man known as Tom Doyle. Are these trying to relate with the VRW Riots or sympathize with them? Ryan Wars all oh, with a sling blade. Dropping the challenger. Now climbing to the top rope. Warzone wants to fly once more. This time with a roundhouse kick to the chest of Tom Doyle. Now back in control is Ryan Warzone from behind. Drops the elbow across the chest. Doyle is rocked and staggered now at this point. Ooh! Backhand chop from Ryan Warzone. Now gonna tie up the leg here into the middle ropes. Completely legal, using every part of the ring to an advantage. And Ryan Warzone again has a front behind drop of the elbow across the chest of Tom Doyle hooking the leg this time. So close to the ropes, Tom Doyle doesn't need the ropes to get out of a pain predicament. Now off the nip up, roundhouse kick. Tom Doyle trying to level up here. Kick to the midsection. Going to package him up. Pile driver. And Ryan Woods on doing the smart thing. Rolling to the outside, but Tom Doyle acting as if he's Batman. Call to the outside, he got caught into a power slam. Great situational awareness for Ryan Warzone catching Tom Doyle into a power slam out there. Completely using the momentum given to him by the challenger Tom Doyle now thrown into the barricade. Ryan Warzone now has to play catch up. Counts that too. Tom Doyle instead gonna go and pursue himself to the outside. Now having a champion up on his shoulders, now dropping him on the apron. Not sure what he got the worst out of that one, being having his head bounce off the apron or his chest. And oh, it was obvious to tell that time. Count is that to Ryan Warzone. This time, maybe to sling Tom Doyle back inside the ring. And now, oh, avoiding the punch. That was coming for him. Dropped him with a drop kick and again with a sling blade. Warzone once again from the top rope. Wants to fly one more time. Third time's the charm. Did he turn from the top rope? To retain the digital media championship into the cover. And only a one count this time. Tom Doyle 
with that free cast Brazilian seed that we are very used to seeing and dropping the elbow across the chest again. It's the drive for recognition that is powering Ryan Warzo. Whoa, it's a limit! Goes into the cover. Digital Media Championship is on the line and I can't. Shoulder came up again for Ryan Warzone. But well, look at this unholy straight from Tom Doyle. Able to hoist him off the military press. And again, you see Tom Doyle reacting to the crowd the way he is. Trying to feed off of the energy of the VRW Riders is not something we are used to seeing from Tom Doyle. But it apparently seems like it's working for him. You have never cared for the acknowledgement of the VRW Riders and Tom Doyle instead sees a better method to the madness that he can bring inside the ring. Blow, blow! And he technically kicking the bottom of that middle turnbuckle post. Avoiding that disqualification. Using the ring as a weapon. Now this time! Suicide dive! Crashing in the Iron War Zone. Connecting his time. And there's a return. Oh! About to say a return from the elbow that Ryan Warzone gave to him earlier. And now being sent to the barricade. And Ryan Warzone holding down the ring. Earlier it called him the Vanguard champion of VRW. The meeting point before anyone thinks about going after the VRW Warzone championship. Counts at six, Ryan Warzone off the apron now, trying to play a little bit of mind games with Tom Doyle with another lariat slingshotting himself. Ryan Warzone has been elevating his game a lot as of late. Oh! Now locks himself in on the comeback train. Ducks it into the clothesline. There's a power slam on his own. But now hold up, hold up, hold up! Small package! Small package! Title on the line! Title on the line! Kick out from Doyle! Ryan was on the almost snuck him out. Now we're in there! It's a high knee! A lot of distance between the turnbuckle and the center of the ring. And Tom Doyle again acknowledging the VRW riots! Something we are not very used to see springboard into an elbow! Doyle pulling out all new stops. Now we see once again the flurry of offense to the digital media champion. Climbs to the top row once more. Tom Doyle, frog splash to the champion. Digital media championship is on the line. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait, wait. Holy hell, this Alex Haas. Alex Haas is back. Alex Haas has returned to the war zone. And he just costed Tom Doyle his shot at becoming the digital media champion. We haven't seen Alex Haas since the road to Mayhem with his match with Tom Doyle resulting in a no contest at least spoil out to the backstage area. The juggernaut of VRW, the genocidal genius has Tom Doyle at his mercy. A pile driver through the table. Not exactly the greatest form of payback you would want to get to a man that shoves you off of a balcony into a lamp post. But Alex Haas stayed on business in Ryan Warzone. Obviously upset that this championship match was interrupted, but Warzone gets dropped instead. Armageddon is upon us. The genocidal genius, Alex Haas, the juggernaut of the war zone, is back! 
nothing but payback, revenge, and possibly a championship on his mind. And speaking of championships, we will determine the number one contender to the VRW Warzone Championship. Cam Hardy, Karan Cuss, Raymond Page, Ace Barrett, and the king of the Warzone, Jason Thomas. One of these five men will go on to the Carnival of Valence and challenge Mason Rex for the Warzone Championship. That is our main event still to come later tonight. For the champion, Phoebe Cash. Cash has been putting up with a lot of madness that has been surrounding her being a part of the main event scene and defending the VRW Television Championship. Obviously, BB Cash with a lot on her plate, and she's about to unpack.
Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey. Wait a minute. That's Maggie. Maggie Morgan is back. The woman that dies cold betrayed. Back of the road to Mayhem Pay Per View is Silky now. Coming after the war man's home the champion but baby cash starting to light things up she had a plan Maggie Morgan has returned to the war zone After a month since her betrayal of Dallas Cole And back inside the ring Suki goes flying over the top rope Meanwhile, the returning, oh, a bash from Dallas Cole who gets herself out of dodge. Maggie Morgan with a return that no one saw coming. But the fact of the matter is Baby had a plan and it didn't blow up in her face tonight. Calling on some backup. Using her enemies as her greatest ally, ironic as that sounds, the television champion on top of her own personal matters. Welcome back, Maggie Morgan. Speaking of personal matters, it doesn't get more personal than the issues that Austin Storm has had with Raymond Page, with him costing Storm an eligibility spot in the ladder match here tonight, and then taking it for Marty Morton and with the instigation event that happened last week. Now these two are locked in to get themselves a definite winner between these two. Storm versus Morton and Raymond Page has been barred from ringside. That match is coming up next. himself caught in this back and forth psychology game between Raymond Page and Austin Storm and Morton has had his limits broken by the issues between these two now he wanted this match he got it approved from the dawn he wants this one-on-one -on -one almost as much as Austin Storm wants Raymond Page out of VRW Statistically speaking, the win percentage of those who have used the Plan for Gold briefcase still to this day is 100%. There is yet to be a warmonger or a warman who have failed to cash in their Plan for Gold. Austin Storm was safe from being another statistic added to this prestigious statistic. Considering that Raymond Page got in Austin Storm's way after Mason Rex had just lost a cage fight to Jason Thomas. Raymond Page physically dragged Mason Rex out of the ring right when Austin Storm was about to cash in and possibly become the next VRW Warzone Champion. The issues with Austin Storm and his 
this the ceasefire of sorts where Raven Page has gotten completely out of hand and Page has been utilizing it to the best advantages that he is available to use. But now that the instigations between Austin Storm and Marty Moore and all because of Raven Page, he had this match right in front of us. European up and cut to the back of the head and neck of Austin Storm. Quick cover of the match up here. Austin Storm able to kick out quick at one. And this all started with this one-on-one -on -one matchup literally a week removed from the Road to Mayhem pay-per-view where everyone knew that there would be a ladder match to determine the number one contender for VRW Warzone Championship match at the Carnival of Violence pay-per-view in June. Oof. Raymond Page would cost Austin Storm his eligibility, getting him disqualified by hitting Marty Morton with an RPG. And oof, stepping down on that arm. And then the following week after that, Raymond Page would take on Marty Morton and Austin Storm would try to get himself involved. And instead, Marty Morton would try to take advantage over the combustible elements of Austin Storm and Raymond Page. And instead, put his hands on Austin Storm, costing himself the eligibility to be a part of the number one contenders ladder match. And now that is why Raymond Page is in that match over both Marty Morton and Austin Storm. Catching Marty Morton with a super kick. Here's a cover. Hook to the leg. Shoulders are down. Quick kick out from Marty Morton. Marty is recognized and known as the Man of Steel. Whereas Austin Storm, a long time day oneer, as the new gen warmongers and warmies have been calling those who open the door to everyone that has recently joined the VRW roster. Austin Storm out the leapfrog, and now the Luthes! Marty Morton hasn't particularly uh, created a bit of disdain for the rest of the day of Warners, but this issue because of Raymond Page and Austin Storm may as well be driving him into the direction of being a part of the ongoing civil war that was originally started by the VRW Warzone champion Mason Rex. And on the war main inside there's Marissa Bear now calling herself actually being recognized as the godmother of all war mains covered once again by Austin Storm and a quick kick out from Marty Morgan quickly making it back to his feet locking things up has him look out explode a suplex and the nip up Morton just impressive with his strength and athleticism now oof breaking away from the hole here and a stiff shot from Marty Morton now look at the way he's cradling Austin Storm has him standing up in a vehicle standing suplex. That's some crazy strength from Marty Morton, but the cunningness of Austin Storm. There's a little bit of payback for the European uppercut to the back of the head and neck from earlier when this match started. Oh, great cover from Austin Storm. Now, oh, I'm locking in Jacket Sleeper. Jacket Sleeper locked in. Trying to force a. So went down the head and neck. Well, Marty Morton able to get out of that one. And a draw kick to the back of the leg. Causing Austin to crash down to the barricade. And a big splash. Morton wants a definite victory. Austin Storm wants a definite victory here tonight. There will be no interferences from Raymond Page who has been barred from ringside. And now Morton. Off the drop, tall home now locking in submission. Camel clutch is applied. Trying to force Austin Storm to tap out the ultimate humiliation. Oh! Storm able to find the escape. Now thrown into the ropes. Austin Storm ducks underneath. Has him. Schoolboy. Stop it, kick. It's only a matter of time before Austin Storm. Oh! Shattered memory! But not going for the cover. Austin Storm with other plans on his mind once dominance over Marty Morgan. And considering the words that were said by Raymond Page, despite it being an instigation tactic, you gotta wonder does Austin Storm care about any of these new warmongers trying to step up and hold on to the mantle that was created by the Day Waters?
Flat tech delivered to Marty Morgan and then a nip up into the cover. Hook to leg. So does it down. Another kick out. Morton this time at two. The disrespect had been shown to the people who first put VRW on the map. All the disrespect has been crazy. There's a blockbuster from the top rope by Austin Storm. And earlier on, we hit the shattered memory. Snap power slam by Austin Storm. Here's a cover. Hook to the lane. Both shoulders. Oh! Another kick out from Marty Morton. Off the blame for the Civil War starting in the first place was Mason Rex when he became a three time BRW World Champion. Marty Morton hyping himself up now. Oh! Shot to the midsection from Austin Storm. Now, once again, this time in the ring, locking in the Dragon Sleeper. Austin Storm, who wants dominance over the roster. And now, oh! Morton again able to escape the submission. And now, boom! Lariat takedown from Marty Morton. And now, oh! Dropping that knee across the arm of Austin Storm. You know his vortex lariat that he hits so well and takes the life. They almost try to take the head off of his opponents anytime he hits it. Brandon Page knows that move all so well. And now Morton, oof! Using a ring as a weapon. Kicking at, oof! Big shots, big punches from Big Marty Morton! And Morton now stomping down on Austin Storm. Now trying to flip him out of sorts! And Morton possibly on a first. Wait a minute. Marty Morton from the corner. What the hell is he going for? Oh! Big time spear! Almost rivaling the RPG. Here's a cover hook to the leg. Austin! Able to get that shooter up. The confidence, the moxie of Marty Morton. Full out of steam. Big splash when the knees came up. Austin Storm back on top of the momentum now. Tossed into the ropes. Off the schoolboy once again. Super kick! Austin Storm now being reminded of the pain of getting hit with a spear. Now over the top rope, Bellaro Tope! Austin Storm giving Marty Morton the fight that he asked for. Ooh. Stepping down on the arm. You have to be wary of the referee's 10 count. And a stiff forearm to the side of the dome of Marty Morton. And so far, so good for both of these warmongers. At first, I thought this was going to be a battle of attrition, but Austin Storm aiming for domination over Marty Morton. A lot of distance between him and the middle section. Oh, with a DDT! Planting Morton into the cover, hooks the leg, shoulders are down. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Raymond Page once again being a distraction for Austin Storm. Got a hand in the page, on his own. Oh. Trying to be a distraction for both Storm and Morton. Technically, he's not at ringside. He's in the crowds with the IW riots. How he has not spoken directly to Austin Storm. How he has not physically put his hands. Austin Storm. It completely shocks me that these two have yet to tear each other's throats out. Page is bleeding. A absolute child right now. Meanwhile, in the inside the ring, Money Boy from the top. World strongest slam. Morton is on fire. Raymond Page is just hyping this man up. What the hell is Morton doing? Crossbody! Look at this physically dominating athlete! And Paige just doesn't know when to shut up! But 
Austin Storm. Back on top of the action, trying to keep Marty Martin at bay, trying to ignore the bug, the cockroach as he called him. Raymond Page just being an absolute bother right now in the middle of this match between Martin and Austin. And a big close line Larry a takedown from the big man. Oh, where the hell Page go now? Oh, he's still running his mouth. Meanwhile, Marty Morton trying to wear down a left leg. Lost in Storm, who is yet to try and go for that Vortex Lariat because of the precise targeting of Marty Morton now tossing him back inside the ring. Now, this could be Marty Morton's moment here to knock off the former world champion Austin Storm now. Lock things up, tied him up this time. And now, oh! Drops him with a backbreaker. And now Austin Storm climbing all the way to the top rope. Morton now back to his feet. Austin Storm with another DDT from the top rope. Cover once again, hook to the leg. Shoulders are down. And Morton again. Able to kick out at two. And now Austin Storm gonna prop Marty Morton up on the top rope. Precarious situation now. Oh! The European uppercut. This is bad news for Marty Morton. Austin Storm has him in a viable state. With a fall! Storm cut it from the top rope away! Morton destructed off! Oh! Morton taking the head off of Austin Storm and got the biggest win of his career! I have never seen anyone shrug off the, the, the Storm Cutter that way! Marty Morton was taking it! Back and forth between Austin Storm in this match. Complete back and forth. Clash of styles. Austin Storm almost had this match all said and done. But the constant interference. Despite not being at ringside, Raymond Page's presence was a complete distraction and bother for both Morton, but mostly for Austin Storm. And this is where we thought would be the end of the match. A super storm cutter from the top rope, but it didn't even phase Morton. But this took out Austin Storm! More or less taking his damn head off. Marty Morton just picked up one of the biggest wins of his career. And Raymond Page is just letting us all sink in that he once again screwed Austin Storm. Jaden looking to make waves 
of an opportunity at the Carnival Melee. She's got an opportunity here in this Elimination Frenzy Showcase. And her opponent from Melbourne, Australia, Team Giona had a very impressive showing against the likes of Bad Amy in her first ever match in VRW as a war maiden. Despite the loss, her performance was very convincing that she is going to be a definite big player in our war maiden's division. Amaya Jackson was able to knock off Valentina on both of their War Maidens debut. Amaya Jackson very close to the Red Dawn Karan Cook who helped open the door to her here in VRW. And knocking off Valentina for her first victory as a War Maiden. The future is looking bright for Amaya Jackson. Can't wait to see who's truly going to rise to the occasion at the Carnival Melee. From Detroit, Michigan, Angelina Carissa Angelina Renee, I, I need to put this out here first of all. When there was the house show we did, Angelina Renee debuted as a war maiden for the first time. Despite everyone talking about BB Cash setting a record for nine eliminations, let's not forget the fact that Angelina Renee also set her own personal record with five eliminations. Angelina Renee very close to the digital media champion Ryan Warzone as well. Someone who helped open the door for her. These war has got some good friends in high places. And we're going to see just how far those relationships are going to push them going forward as VRW War Man's. This is a War Man's showcase elimination style. Ooh. This is not one pin, one win. We will see one war maiden stand above the rest here in this matchup. No rules, no disqualifications, no need to break up pins. The first pin of the match going to Amaya Jackson. Giona kicking out. And the state of the VRW War Man's division is fruitful as of late. So many War Man's coming to join VRW as of late. Here's another cover from Andy Jaden, prospect of the recent signees. A quick kick up about Angelina Renee. In fact, ooh. In fact, ever since the relocation, a lot of these war men have been truly stepping their game up and doing a whole sort of different things we are not used to ever seeing. Jackson sending Jaden off to the top. And Amaya Jackson now. Boot to the face of Giona. Another quick cover from Amaya Jackson. Quick kick out from Giona. Quick kick to the face of Andy Jane and Giona. Trying to get the lay of the land. And there's a Lopez from Amaya Jackson. Angelina Renee with a kendo stick now turns her attention to Andy Jaden. Now has her up. Now going to cradle her all the way into the corner. Amaya Jackson. With the lethal beatdown tactic of Giona. Here's a cover from Angelina Renee and a kick out. Meanwhile, Jackson breaking things down. Ooh, double knees to the lower back and spine of Giona. And Angelina Renee with a stiff drop kick to the back of Andy Jaden. Rip cord into the knee from Amaya Jackson. As Amaya has just been so impressive. It's only her second match. NVRW Giona with a freaking ladder! And oh! Ho, ho, ho. These war mans are getting very violent very quickly! Roundhouse kick from Andy Jaden. Now locking things up with Giona Gordbuster! This is the. Ho, 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 ho. Angelina! I'm sorry, Andy Jaden! Just using the weapons and hand it to her at this point. 
and turning everybody into a target. Angelina Renee now with a sledgehammer in the ring. Here's a cover. Quick cover again for Renee to get an elimination here. And Giona able to kick out at two. And Andy Jane and again has written to recover what's been going on in her career as of late, breaking her relationship off with Jane Van Dam. That was a tumultuous falling out. And things, all the things that have been playing out as of late. Down goes Renee. Andy Jane has had to reinvent herself as a woman, and now she's no longer in the technically short tag team division. Her and Jane Van Dam worked very well as a tag team. In fact, ooh, being sent back inside the ring by Angelina Renee. Then a ladder from Giona, and the way that's set up now is just. Scary danger is now the cover again from Giona to eliminate Andy Jane in a quick kick out. And Giona just gonna keep bringing the pressure to Andy Jane. Launches her into the corner and turns her attention to Amaya Jackson, who's now lighting up Giona with the strike combinations. Giona able to counter. Here's Angelina Renee getting back into the groove of things with Amaya Jackson. Oh! Taking out Jackson. Her Karana by Andy Jaden. And Angelina, ooh, trying to be quick on the southpaw style and got dropped with a roundhouse from Andy Jaden. Now with the trash can back in her hands, just slamming it down on the back of Giona. Andy Jaden trying to play her hands. Switch things up in a sledgehammer straight to Giona. And again, a carnival melee idea that was brought up by the VRW Women is champion Ivy Lopez who states that the winner of that match isn't going to have to wait to the end of the year at the ultimate frenzy instead that championship match will be granted to the winner that same night here comes a DDT from Giona now Giona with the trash can in hand and Amaya Jackson now locking in Cobra Clutch submission locked in on Angelina Renee but instead lets go, being very cautious of the threat that is Giona. It's very understandable. Giona now back with the trash can in her hands and now launching it to the lower back of Renee. And now from behind, a neck breaker from Andy J. Now with the Kendo stick in hand. Here comes Lutez Press from Amaya Jackson. Laying out Andy J now turns her attention to Angelina Renee. Jackson just firing off a flurry of offense in this showcase. And a jawbreaker. Sit out style. It's the oh man. Amaya Jackson wants to be remembered as a top tier war man's with her performance from last week and her performance tonight so far. She is on her way of being in talks of major conversations. Let's not dissuade Angelina Renee either. As fierce as she's been fighting this match up here. Ooh. Big kick from Giona. Trying to isolate Andy Jane and cradling her. All four of these women has got some strength on their repertoire. Meanwhile on the outside of the ring. Renee smartly going after the left leg of Amaya Jackson. All the weapons that are being thrown around in this match right now is freaking scary. And Renee lighting up Giona with the double knee arm breaker and a lariat from Andy Jaden. These guys are so quick, so fast. Course through Centon delivered to Renee and Jackson. Putting a boot to the face of Jaden. And a kick away from Renee. And a leg drop. Again, this is an elimination frenzy style showcase. Won't end off in a first pinfall or submission. At least three. In fact, all three of the other opponents of the winner have to all be eliminated via pinfall or submission. And so far, it's still anyone's game at this point. No one has shown any weaknesses in this match. All they are showing 
There's a reason why their war is in the first place covered by Andy Jaden. All right, I said there didn't need to be any pin breakups, but Giona launching that trash can at the back of the door of Andy Jaden. She's still going, but now dropped with that German suplex. Now telling Giona to bring the fight to her. And instead, Jaden and Jackson have their eyes locked in on each other. And then a clothesline from Andy Jaden. And here comes Angelina Renee, lost away by Jaden. Now Jackson gets sent back inside the ring by Jaden. Here comes Giona getting in the way of Andy Jaden and Angelina Renee. And that just helped Renee in a big way. And now Jackson. Oh! Jackson with the steel chair to the back of the dome. Here's the cover from Amaya Jackson to eliminate Giona and a quick kick out again. And Giona now suffering the right hands of Amaya Jackson. Angela Renee draped against the barricade. Jackson still going on with a head trauma trying to give Giona CTE. And Andy Jaden now with a grip of the nape of the neck trying to get Jackson the way she wants to have her in this match here. Launched into the corner. And step forward but from behind is Giona now launching Jaden into the other corner. Renee just surveying what's going on inside the ring. Giona out. Shot to the back of the head and neck. Oh, and a boot to Jackson. Giona now trying to eliminate Amaya Jackson. Turns her out. And now face first into the man, Angelina Renee. There's no need to break up pins, but she did it anyway. <laughs> Karata to the ref, what the hell is going on? Referee just got dropped by Andy Jaden, who got clocked with a steel chair. And oh man, Angelina Renee with a big springboard moonsault landing on Jackson. I'm telling you, some of these war mans just go above and beyond. Sit out, you're a Nagi. And now a vice choke. Trying to choke the life out of Giona. But Giona trying to free herself from the submission. And she does. <laughs> now locking things up again. Giona now launching Renee. Oh! Shotgun drop kick from Giona. Ducks underneath. Now try to chop down the tree trunk legs of Amaya Jackson. And now has her cradled up again. Andy Jaden back inside the ring. Giona now manipulating Jackson. James her and a sledgehammer from Andy Jaden. Giona having to pull herself up using her ropes. Andy Jaden now adopting the title. Of gravity's champion is because of stuff like that. Satellite DDT from Andy Jaden. It's a cover. Hook to the leg. Shoulders up down. Jaden on up. And a kick out at two and a half. And a clothesline to Angelina. And a leg drop corkscrew style from Andy Jaden. This is one woman that doesn't know how to stay on the ground. Andy Jaden is always trying to jump off of things and whenever she's in these matches. And now, oh, whoa! Collision into Giona ricocheting off of that poison Rana. That was just incredible. But Angelina Renee! Able to flip Jackson backwards into a knee. And Amaya Jackson is the first to be eliminated. Renee trying to take the head off of Angelina. Should say Andy Jaden. Holy crap, Angelina is the one popping off right now. Now that Amaya has been eliminated first in this showcase. And these women are just going to pop off something crazy here oh wait a minute what on earth these women are absolutely wild angelina renee with the 630 here's the cover here's the cover to eliminate jaden no <laughs> Giona. what the hell 
I told you this is a war game showcase. We're supposed to be witnessing the evolution of the next generation of war maidens. These four are absolutely a gag. As important as it is to prepare for the carnival melee, all four of these war maids are just trying to put on a show. Amaya Jackson, the first to be eliminated. We are down in the final three. Giona, Andy, Jaden, and Angelina Renee, who is just sneaking behind Jaden and Giona Spike with a DDT. Oh! And if it's not jumping off a thing, they're now throwing things, launching them at each other. Jaden launching kicks in Zaguri is now ooh, off to snap man. Take down and there's a tornado in Zaguri to Angelina Renee. Here's the cover. Hook to the leg. Shoulders are down. Kick out. An absolute banger that these two had a few weeks ago. Angelina Renee with her in-ring singles debut as a war man. Jaden was the one who came out on top. And Jaden right now is on top of Renee with that sledgehammer. Now Renee back to her. Oh, Baze! Ooh! Taking Renee off her feet there. And Jaden trying to lock down Renee. Lock the things up into a neck breaker. And floats over into a mild splash. But Giona. Oh! Sledgehammer to the lower back. And again to the midsection. Now I'm going to crawl straight into the cover. Both shoulders are down to eliminate Jade in a quick kick out. Giona Miley starting to get a little bit frustrated now with the sledgehammer back in her hands again. Not a good situation for Andy Jaden. Spraying board into a drop kick. And now it's Jaden with the sledgehammer in her hand. Right for a better word, bringing the hammer down on Giona, trying to get her eliminated. Another kick out. From Giona, but from behind, Angelina Renee with the steel chair in her hands, but from behind, Andy Jaden instead gonna turn this into a bulldog. A minorly bad landing for Renee coming down on those steel's chair. Now ducked underneath Angelina Renee, shoving a trash can out the way, heads as a takedown. Now turns her attention to Giona, launching their ropes. No, great counter for Angel. Oh. Andy Jaden able to counter, slingshot, and to Luria, but shoved out of the way by Giona, however. And now, oh, slamming down the shoulder is Giona. And again, Giona targeting a bow. Shoulders of Andy Jaden, oh, discus into the long blower. Here's the cover. From Angelina Renee, shoulders are down, got her! Back to back eliminations, Angelina Renee! Now it's just down to Renee and Jaden. Now to her fight and wrestle for the sledgehammer's control! Shot to the midsection, now launched at Renee, Andy Jaden now trying to turn this into a fruitful situation. Instead, Jaden now has a table, and this does not hold well. Some sick intentions on the mind of Angie Jaden, now bashing Renee with the table and setting it up. Andy Jaden now going to drag her along. There's only one thing on Jaden's mind right now. They call her Gravity's Champion for a reason! Big splash on the table! Jaden isn't done yet though! She's back at the top rope! Turns it around, moves out! We might as well call that the Gravity Cannon! Andy Jaden with a big win in the Warriors Showcase! A magnificent showcase from all four of the war men that participated in this match. Andy Jaden is on quite the winning streak as of late.
as a singles competitor. She has been elevating her game, but I am very excited to see the evolution of the careers of Andy Jaden, Amaya Jackson, Angelina Renee, and Giona. It will be the first elimination dealt by Angelina Renee, eliminating Amaya Jackson with that back suplex into that big knee clocking Jackson who was tearing this match apart and Angelina Renee would continue to impress the VRW Ryans coming off of that top rope with that 630 splash unfortunately was unable to eliminate Jaden but Giona just showing her savage nature against the referee and then when it comes down to the elimination of Giona after snapping the shoulder trying to get that out of place. The discus lung blower from Angelina Renee would eliminate Giona. One, two, three. But then Jada would turn things around in the closing moments. First, dropping Renee on the table and splashing her through it. But instead of going for the pinfall, she would go for the gravity cannon moonsault. And only Jaden can hit so well. And allowing her to get the victory. A big win for Andy Jaden here. Whoa! What the hell? Who's launching chairs? Oh no! The godmother of all war maidens! Marissa Barrett! Bad Evie has some choice words for Marissa Barrett! And obviously she did not take those words well in the slightest. Jaden having to be a victim to the queen of the broken kingdom. Obviously, I rate. First, it was AJ Graves that had to take the loss to David Blaze at the start of the show. Then, having to listen to the words of Bad Amy, obviously, Baron is on an all time record of anger. And we saw Jaden put Renee through a table earlier. And there's a Baron. Baron is going to set a higher bar. Holy hell, the table is on fire! Bad stop! Violent Revolt Wrestling, that's what we are, but Marissa Baird taking things to a whole new level! Whether you can reason with this war man or not, it does not matter! We are all living! In the world of the Godmother of all women, with a superplex on the burning table! Refusing to stay down, trying to stand up to the queen of a broken kingdom with the queen's gambit. You got to respect the tenacity of Andy Jaden, but Marissa Barrett setting standards in her War Maidens division. We live in a 
dark time. Civil war at an unsteady unrest. And you got this woman doing whatever the hell she wants. And that's exactly what these five are going to do here next in the main event. All for the right to challenge for the BRW Warzone Championship. Harvey, Cook, Thomas, Barrett, Page. One of these five warmongers are going to set themselves a charted course to the carnival of violence to challenge Mason Rex and the BRW Warzone World Champion. That match is next. From the bottom, finish at the top. I'm just focused on the moves. I don't really talk. I'm all about attacking. I'm all about the action. All about being the one that really made it happen. Make a paycheck off of passion. Get it saying, but they can't be. Yeah, my feet on the macadam. I've been running shit. Crossing up my bucket list. I ain't got a fuck to give. I've been working out the shit for years. I've been doing shit for years. I've been doing shit for years. I've been doing shit for years. It is now time to crown ourselves a number one contender for Mason Rex's VRW Warzone Championship. And earlier in the night, we saw the confidence, the moxie, the demeanor, the dominant greatest of all time returned to his normal ways and now he is awaiting a possible victim to come challenge him at the carnival of violence AJ Graves unfortunately was a victim tonight after being put through an announcer's desk, Cam Hardy was a victim of losing the United Revolution Championship and tonight he finally gets a shot to take down Mason Rex. And his opponent from Memphis, Tennessee, is the king of the war zone, Jason Thomas. Ever since returning back to the war zone, Jason Thomas has not had the greatest 2024 until the past couple of weeks Jason Thomas off of a minor distraction was able to get a pinfall victory over Mason Rex two weeks ago and then last week was victorious defeating Mason Rex in a cage fight no one is more confident heading into this ladder match more than Jason Thomas your king of the war zone will a king be a champion once again Let's find out.
from Sweet Talk, Virginia. Someone who in the past has had the number of Mason Rex on multiple occasions. He even sheltered American Terror way back when within the Dominion of Terror. Karan Cook also has the only death match victory currently in VRW. And that match was against Mason Rex. When the Souls of Iron Championship was on the line, Karan Cook escaped that death match as a very dominant champion. Karan Cook knows Mason Rex almost as much as Darren Troy and Sawyer do. Could it be Karan Cook to become a two-time world champion? From Miami, Florida, representing the Broken Kingdom, is Ace Barrett has got a lot on his plate, at to say the least, of all the pressure that his wife, Marissa Barrett, has been shouldering on him over the past number of weeks. Ace Barrett having back and forth conversation with AJ Graves and how he's been up and down the tumultuous ladder trying to become a top tier singles competitor. It's up to Ace Barrett to clean up AJ Graves' what the you have got to be kidding me when when is this going to end this issue that Raymond Page has had with Austin Storm is starting to get completely out of hand having the announcer declare himself a member, a representative of Twisted Conspiracy, a tag team made famous by Austin Storm and Charles Griffin, even wearing the mask and the logo, Raymond Page, you disrespectful son of a bitch. Continuing to play these mind games like he did earlier that cost Austin Storm his match against Marty Morton. This man stole the eligibility of Austin Storm and Marty Morton to be in this match, this ladder match, a number one contender's ladder match. All for the right to face Mason Rex at the Carnival of Violence for the VRW Warzone Championship. Raymond Page now on the attack from Cam Hardy on the outside. Meanwhile, on the inside is a knee bar. Jason Thomas has been walking in that knee bar a lot lately, trying to force his opponents, mainly Mason Rex, to submit all the damage that was worked on the leg of Mason Rex during that match that prevented him from coming back and climbing and escaping the cage fight. Again, no one is more confident going into this match than Jason Thomas. No one, ooh, no one has more pressure built on them like Ace Barrett does. All the failures that have been stacking up lately for the Broken Kingdom surely has been weighing down on all three of the members of the Broken Kingdom. Especially AJ Gray's after the night feeling as if he's been belittled by Marissa and Ace Barrett. And then you have Karan Cook who's been on quite the redemption streak as of late. Knocking off not just Tom Doyle but the digital media champion last week in tag team action alongside Cam Hardy, who has already been preaching about how he wants to be the A champion, a champion better than Mason Rex. And right now, he is isolated all alone in the ring right now with a ladder. Meanwhile, Cook, Thomas, Page, and Barrett all left alone on the outside. Now, finally, Cook. Despite the temporary alliance that they made back inside the ring. Now all five of these warmongers back inside the ring. And now meeting of the minds. Cam Hardy trying to stand on top. Sydney Page to the outside. Karan Cook dropped. Oh! Oh! Everyone's flying around the ring. 
but they need to be climbing a ladder to grab that briefcase, that Grand Slam Championship opportunity at the Carnival of Violence. And Jason Thomas, Spikey Hardy with a DDT. Now from behind, Ace Baron of the Broken Kingdom. Elevated DDT and a spear! A spear to Raymond Page like come on, cook! DDT by Ace Bear, Raymond Page now! Slingshot Lariat! Big time Lariat to his former best friend and tag team partner! Ace Bear now sending him out of the ring! That's a harsh landing on the back of that ladder for Ace Bear! And remembering the history of Raymond Page being the benefactor of VRW trying to play all oh, the mind games and another spear by Cook! Keep in mind that Raymond Page has been a thorn in the side of not just Austin Storm but even Ace Barrett and Karan Cook at many points in their careers. Raymond Page has been trying to claim credit for all the success that has fallen into the laps of people like Barrett, people like Karan Cook and American Terra Page tried to claim all the credit of their evolution to their rise in power in VRW over the years. And meanwhile, we have the new generation warmongers like Cam Hardy, who is in this ensemble of not just day oneers, but VRW veterans who have been playing at this for a number of years, making VRW as it is today. Cam Hardy counts himself grateful to be a part of this match and a grand opportunity if he should win now it's Raymond Page going to send him out send him into the apron he's very now targeting the legs of the king of the war zone Jason Thomas keep in mind after the carnival of violence on the 8th of June we start the own the throne tournament Jason Thomas's throne is going to be challenged and so many warmongers are going to be gunning for that spot to take the throne of the current king, Jason Thomas. And one's got to wonder about the throne being held by Sammy Stone, who we, who we haven't seen since the Road to Mayhem pay-per-view when she lost her VRW Warman's Championship after Ivy Lopez cashed in her plan for gold on her. And Jason Thomas, the king of the war zone who has defeated the current world champion on a number of occasions. And Cam Hardy with a kendo stick! Humbling the king and breaking the kendo stick over Rand Page. Now trying to light up the chest. A car cook, but there's a counter. He's bare back inside the ring and a springboard clothesline. Taking down the former United Revolution champion. And now the former world champion, Ace Barrett, trying to take down one of the longest reigning Soul Tire champions in VRW history, Karan Cook, with over 214 days as the Soul Survivor champion. And combination from Barrett and Hardy. Temporary alliances are going to be happening throughout this matchup. Oh, Luther to the king. Ace Barrett now off the spray. Oh, from the corner. On drag, take down to a drop kick. We have the king of the war zone and Raymond Page off and refers to himself as the king of drop kick city. This man has many variations of drop kicks. He can hit on you on the drop of a dime. Power bomb to Cam Hardy, but Karan Cook now overpowering Raymond Page face first. And then that top turnbuckle is shot to mid second. Karan Cook again with some violent, turbulent history with Raymond Page. Turning his attention to Ace Bear now from behind is Jason Thomas, another man who has had a crazy history with Karan Cook when they battled for the Soul Survivor Championship. Page now having Thomas up on his shoulders. Ace Barrett now with the ladder. Again, this is a ladder match. The only way to win is to climb the ladder, retrieve the contract that has your championship opportunity at the Carnival of Violence to challenge Mason Rex. For his VRW War Zone Championship. And I know that it is late to the party. But it's better late than never. 
Now is the time to hit that thumbs up, that subscribe, and that bell if you are enjoying any of the action that has happened here in the war zone. We are on our way to the carnival of violence in three weeks' time, where we are going to witness quite an epic lineup of matches from the carnival frenzy to the carnival melee to a death match between Marissa Barrett and Bad Amy. So many are trying to make history next month at the Carver of Violence and this is the only place you're going to see it happen here at VRW Meanwhile Raymond Page now sending the King to the outside once again Cam Hardy and Ace Spirit locking things down in the ring Poison Rana from Hardy and again how honored Cam Hardy is to be a part of a matchup like this Raymond Page and Ace Barrett along with Jason Thomas. Day one is in the minds of the new gen warmongers and warmings. Oh, whoa, look at this! Oh! All around the world with the DDT. Karan Cut, a veteran of VIW. Love nothing more but to score another important victory over a longtime rival, immortal enemy, Mason Rex who has started the civil war that has been ongoing since we returned to you 2 since we returned to the war zone Bear being sent to the outside and now Cook being sent to the corner whiplashed and oh big elbow from Jason Thomas now has his eyes locked in on Raymond Page but Page able to get him in the shoulder carry draped over the top rope and Barrett now clearing the announcers desk that we just had reassembled earlier in the night after what happened to his tag team partner. Oh! AJ Grace, who was put through that table by the Warzone champion Mason Rex. Oof. Face first goes to King of the Warzone on the apron. Raymond Page surveying the scene. Karan Cook, however, dropping Page back inside to Ray. Oh! Send time to the back and spine of Jason Thomas. And now, boom! Oh! Springboard into the body splash. And now a steel chair to the left leg of Jason Thomas. You can't, oh, and a spear! Can't climb a ladder if your legs don't work. And now Karan Cook with an ace crusher from the corner! Thomas is down. Cook is looking for a ladder. A spirit! Damn near acting like a track star running all around the ring. Now dropping in Page. And now Page is in pursuit. Bear back inside the ring. Trying to go after the King of Wars. Oh! Moved away. Almost a German suplex delivered to Cam Hardy. A spirit. Trying to get the upper hand on Jason Thomas, who is making this all look easy. And a little bit of disrespect from the King. A slap to the back of the head, locking things up with Raymond Page now. Page now being sick. Misdirection into a knee. Now over here, Luthers by Cam Hardy. Worked as well as a well oiled machine last week as a tag team, and now they have to put up with handling business here tonight in a steel chair, Raymond Page. And Barrett! Sending Hardy into the steel step and a big knee for Megan Page. A lot of combustible elements here tonight. Raymond Page climbing to the top rope. Oh, knocking away. Ace Barrett. Tight rope into another drop kick. But from behind, Jason Thomas dragging someplace on the ladder. In the back of the head and neck. Gotta be screaming at Page when he's already back to his feet. Just choose. Just choosing to walk it off. Run straight into Cam Hardy from behind now. Oh! Shot down. Face first! And Cam Hardy trying to line himself up for a huge opportunity. And Ace Barry just knocking down the ladder. Damn, bro. Now launched into the corner by Jason Thomas. Jason now trying to ensure that the Kano War Zone becomes. A number one contender only to become after that world champion. And Paige being a victim of the 
King's wrath here. Ace Barrett sending Thomas into a power slam. Now turns his attention to Raymond Page with a big forearm. Knocking out Page into Gray to the red dawn of ERW. Karan Cooper from behind. Now gonna drag Barrett along for the ride here. Face first goes Hardy. And face first into that turnbuckle. Goes Ace Barrett now locking things up with Raymond Page. Just Karan Cooper. Oh! Launched him into that ladder and Karan Cook overpowering Hardy! Hardy is down. Barrett is reeling. Raymond Page hits a takedown to the King of War Zone. And Cam Hardy. Oh! Blasted with a clothesline. Ace Barrett tries to take down Raymond Page. Now Raymond Page lighting him up here. Oh! Another heads to take down, delivered to Karan Cook this time. Raymond Page just watching what's going on with Barrett and Cook. Boom! Whipped into the corner again. This match is literally anyone's game. There's no advantage into this match unless you're at a disadvantage. Kind of like how Jason Thomas's left leg was targeted earlier in this match. Ooh! Barrett just launching the ladder away, keeping it away from Raymond Page. Now has him up on his shoulders into a shoulder carry. Bouncing him over that top turnbuckle. Bear now climbing perch on the top row cross body to the king of the war zone. Meanwhile, inside the ring, Raymond Page now having his legs targeted by Karan Cook and a boot to the face. And another one. Page now in retreat. Karan Cook surveying the scene. Left alone inside the ring. Along with the king of the war zone. Some joint manipulation. Stepping down on the arm and shoulder. Now Hardy back inside the ring. Going at the Karan Cook. Tricked up against the ropes. Cam Hardy now trying to set something up here. Launched through. Lee Frog over. Into another crossbody. Now it's still chair here. Oh. Jason Thomas trying to get a hold of the situation currently that's going on right now. And oh! Blasting Hardy with a clothesline turns his attention back to Karan Cook. Meanwhile, on the outside of the ring, Ryan Page has been going head to head against his former tag team partner and best friend, Ace Barrett. And Barrett sitting into the turnbuckle post. If you're having a difficult time keeping up with all the action, I don't blame you. Five of the top warmongers right now are trying to be next in line to challenge Mason Rex for the VRW Warzone Championship. And Barrett, Barrett has this set up. And it is looking pretty dire. But realizing that a ladder has been set up inside the ring. Oh! Thomas is set into the ladder. And Ace Bear now launching the ladder, almost hitting Raymond Page. And Page gets blasted with a flying clothesline. Hardy looking to capitalize now, bending the arms back, just stomping away in the back of the head and neck. Hardy is on a roll. Thomas is back inside the ring. Barrett is left all alone in the ring right now with a ladder launching it. Almost trying to take out Cam Hardy and Karan Cook with shoulder tackles trying to knock Barrett down. A little bit of separation there, got caught that time. Now Jason Thomas gonna launch Barrett into the corner. Karan Cook off the springboard clothesline. And Karan Cook now. Ooh. Ziff strikes, meeting to home. Look out, incoming! Spin out Yuranagi slam, and that might have taken a lot of Karan Cook. And I don't blame him. As hectic as this match has been, all five of these warmongers are getting, getting closer and closer to their gas tank on the empty. Barrett with a close line trying to send away Jason Thomas. Rolls into a blockbuster to the height that Barrett just reached there. And Karan Cook 
Now I believe the next victim, next target. Oh, right, Spirit! Kick to the midsection into a super kick! And Karan Cook now sending Barrett into the corner of the announcer's desk. Meanwhile, inside the ring, Jason Thomas was alone for a second until Cam Hardy getting blasted with a ladder. And Jason Thomas now looking to scale the ladder and make the climb. And Karan Cook is going to meet him up there. Karan Cook sending these shots now trying to choke the life and uh, Jason Thomas who breaks away oh this is a precarious situation right now and these oh down goes Thomas but Cook is too far too far from the center of the ring to reach the briefcase doing a smart thing looking to do a bit more damage now launching Thomas into the corner once again and Karan Cook has something else dangerous on his mind right now. It's a bad situation. Jason Thomas, Super Plex, are still holding on. Still holding on. Falcon Zero. Hardy now back inside the ring. And it's going to completely ignore Karan Cook. Now at the top. Oh! Karan Cook trying to keep Hardy down. Trying to bring down the briefcase. He's got his hands on the briefcase. Hands on the briefcase. And Karan Cook trying to meet him up there. And Barrett back inside the ring. Page trying to take down Karan Cook as much as he can. Down goes Cook. And an RPG. RPG underneath the ring. Taking out Barrett. Hardy gets sent to the outside. You've got to be kidding me. No one is able to stop Page. He's making a climb to the top of the ladder. Thomas is back to his feet. But Paige has been left all alone. All alone in the ring. And Paige about to bring down the briefcase. Wait, 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 wait. It's Austin. Austin still put his hands on Paige. Austin still put his hands on Paige. The tree is broken. The tree is broken. A storm coming from the top of the ladder! Austin Storm has been pushed way beyond his limit of patience! Paige cost him another match earlier in the night and Austin Storm just cost him the number one contendership! Paige has yet to move! Damn near a 20 foot drop from the top of the ladder to the hard floor. But the action isn't slowing down whatsoever. Jason Thomas spiking Karan Cook to the announcer's table. But meanwhile, meanwhile, Kim Hardy, Kim Hardy, Hardy at the top of the ladder. Trying to bring down the briefcase of Thomas! Thomas on the hunt! Thomas on the hunt! This action is yet to be slowed down! Down goes Hardy! Down goes Hardy! Oh man! What are those freaking steps? A spirit! With the ace of spades! Marissa Barrett earlier in the night said all roads don't lead to Rome. They lead to her. But they may well be led to the broken kingdom. As Barrett just crossed Jason Thomas with those steel steps. No more opposition. No more questioning who's next in line. A Spirit has won the ladder match. It's our this was the be all and all. A Spirit has been 
put through so much pressure. Austin Storm has been thrown into temptation. Told to handle things in his own way. He damn sure did that tonight. He had another way of page and dropped him. 20 feet from the top of the ladder with a storm cutter. Almost everyone was pushed well beyond their limitation of violence. Cam Hardy was seconds away from ripping down that contract. Had it not been for the king of the war zone rushing straight back into the ring to take down Cam Hardy. And right when we thought we were going to have a three-piece, Bear did the unthinkable. We launched the steel steps into the side of Jason Thomas. And the nail in the coffin, no pun intended, to AJ Graves. Ensuring that Thomas wouldn't get back up again. Barrett finalized his mission. The stars are beginning to align. The carnival of violence is set on a direct course to a night of madness and unadulterated violence. 